And now, First One Five Weather with forecaster Stephen Sarabia. Good morning. It is 946 off to a very sunny morning for the valley. This is our Sky 5 cam in Wesco. Nice blue skies, traffic flowing nice and smooth, and the temperature feels pretty nice this morning. And these sunny skies, that's going to be the case throughout the entire day. Future track shows that even in the afternoon, this is 1 p.m., still going to be very sunny. But thanks to that front that passed through early this morning, late last night, it's going to make things a little less humid but a lot more breezy. And here's a look at this evening around 9 p.m. Still going to be a bit breezy out there, still less humid. And a quick look at tomorrow's shows. Again, sunny skies. So if you're doing anything outdoors this afternoon or even tomorrow morning, even tomorrow afternoon, here's Monday 3 p.m. Still going to be sunny out there. Your outdoor plans looking pretty nice because we're not tracking any rain for the next couple days, not until Wednesday evening. Not going to need that umbrella for a while. Here's a look at the temperatures across the valley. 76 for McAllen, 73 for Westlaco, 72 for Harlingen, and 74 for Brownsville. And the average this time of year is 87 degrees, and that's where we're going to be today for the valley. Nowhere near the record, which is 103. Then Monday, bump it up to 91. Expect a warm start to the work week. Then 90 on Tuesday. Still nowhere near the records, which are in the triple digits. But overall, just a warm week is in store for the valley. So the big factor today is the breezy winds. And here's a look at the wind speeds right now. We're showing Raymondville at 21, Port Isabel at 22, Brownsville at 15, and McAllen at 13. And they are expected to pick up this afternoon. But late this evening, they should die off. Tomorrow will not be as breezy as today will be. And here's a look at the coastal forecast. There's a high surf advisory till 1 p.m. We already passed our high tide today, which was at 930. So you don't have to worry about that. Wind speeds coming from the north at 20 to 25 miles an hour with a rough chop on the bay. So it's going to be even breezier if you plan on going to the island, but it should be mostly sunny out there. And here's a look at the seven day forecast showing the first half of the week. We're going to be in the 90s. We are tracking a front on Wednesday, and that's what's going to bring some thunderstorms late in the evening, not during the day. So if you have any plans during the day, Wednesday should be safe. It's not until after the sun sets then. Second half of the week, that front drops temperatures into the mid 80s, partly sunny on Thursday, but then it clears out on Friday and temperatures begin to rise by next weekend, leaving us on Saturday with mostly sunny skies and highs in the mid 80s. Lows will be nice and cool for the first start of the week, but then they'll bump it up to the 70s and that front will make lows back into the 50s. So you can expect a nice cool lows for this upcoming week as well. And that is your update. First one five forecast.